Well, hello there. It's been a while since I've seen you, especially since all of us are under this stay-at-home order in Michigan. Uh, I do miss you, and I'm looking forward to getting back to seeing you more frequently, um, especially in church, which I miss celebrating the sacraments with you a whole lot. It'll be nice to start that up again. In case you don't know me, my name is Father Jack Lochran, and I was the pastor of Holy Family Parish in Adrian. And uh, currently I'm the provincial of the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales, the Toledo Detroit province. It's kind of a long title, isn't it? Um, I usually go by Jack. Um, and even though I have an office in Toledo, I live here in Adrian um, at the rectory of Holy Family Parish with Father Mike Newman and Father Tim McIntyre. Every month, um, as provincial, I send a newsletter out to the men of my province with updates on province business, any news about individual oblates, um, upcoming events, and so forth. I always begin with a short reading from a Salesian source and then a personal reflection on that reading. Our Salesian sources are, of course, St. Francis de Sales. They also include St. Jane de Chantel, uh, the founder of the Oblates, Blessed Louis Brisson, and uh, St. Leone Aviat, who founded the Oblates Sisters of St. Francis de Sales, along with Blessed Louis Brisson. Yesterday, I was uh, I finished writing my reflection for this coming newsletter coming out the beginning of May, and I was talking to Father Mike Newman about it, and he asked if I would be willing to share it with you. Um, the reason I shared it with him was just to make sure it made sense and was worth uh, putting in our newsletter so guys could read it and hopefully get some inspiration from it. I guess he liked it enough for me to ask me to do this. So um, here I am with a short reflection, and I hope you enjoy it or at least find it mildly interesting. Every morning, Father uh, Mike Newman and Father Tim McIntyre and I get together for morning prayer in our rectory. And we always include a short passage, as I said, from one of our Salesian saints. Um, this past Wednesday, uh, our reading was from St. Francis de Sales. As you know, or might know, he's the patron of our religious order. He's also a doctor of the church, most noted for his writings on spiritual life. Um, there's a large collection of his writings, including several books, the most uh, well-known being the introduction to the devout life. There's also many of his reflections, his homilies, and a whole lot of letters to acquaintances of his who turned to him for spiritual advice and direction. Last Wednesday morning, as I said, the passage we read was from St. Francis de Sales, and it struck each one of us as timely. And here's the passage, which is from one of his letters of spiritual direction. He writes, Everything passes, Christians. After a few days of this present life, we shall enjoy the life that has no end. It doesn't matter one iota if the days are comfortable or uncomfortable, provided we are happy for all eternity. Let this holy eternity that awaits us be our consolation, together with the thought of being Christians, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ, reborn by his blood. Our glory consists simply and solely of this, that our Savior died for us. When we finish that reading and our prayer that morning, I remember saying to the other guys, Francis is telling us to get over ourselves. I think this pandemic has created a climate of lament in our lives. How many times have we complained? How many times have we expressed our frustration, our dismay, our confusion, and even our fear in the midst of this struggle we are all in. Does it kind of remind you of Sunday's gospel of the two disciples on the road to Emmaus? The other Francis, our Pope, 
preached on the encounter of these two disciples with Jesus and how the trip from Jerusalem on that day after the crucifixion was so different from the trip back to Jerusalem. On their way from Jerusalem, their minds and hearts were focused solely on themselves. Their confusion, their disappointment, their sadness, and their fear. After their encounter with Jesus and the breaking of the bread, their focus shifted from themselves to Jesus and the wonder of the resurrection. The experience, of these two, the experience these two disciples had of Jesus transformed the heaviness of their journey from Jerusalem to a compelling need to return to Jerusalem and share the good news that Jesus had truly risen. From walking in pain and sorrow, their journey transformed into one of joy and hope. St. Francis de Sales and Pope Francis both tell us to look beyond ourselves, to look beyond our limitations, our anxieties, our fears, and remember that we have so much more in Jesus. Pope Francis said that he always had been curious about what Jesus told those two disciples, so he could do the same. He said, it must have been a beautiful catechesis. Jesus accompanies us along the entire journey, even when we are not aware of his presence. Pope Francis continues, he says, we meet Jesus in the darkness of our doubts, even in the horrible darkness of our sins. The Lord is always there to help us in our distress. He is always with us. The Lord accompanies us because he desires to meet us. This is the core of our Christianity. A person is Christian because he or she has met Jesus and has allowed Jesus to meet them. This is a beautiful reminder of who we are as disciples of Jesus and what we bring to our world. Let's pray that for let's pray for each other that we may continue to journey despite this pandemic with the hope and joy in which those two disciples return to, to, to Jerusalem. Let's pray that all of us in this Easter season open our hearts to Jesus, sharing our lives fully with him and letting him bring us peace. Thanks for your time, especially if you hung in here for the whole thing. I hope you and your family stay healthy and free from any worry or struggle. Blessings and have a great day.